Be quick to listen and slow to anger. Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again for another video, uh, another episode to my fishing excursions. Today's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna take out a little boat just because I haven't in a little while and I'm gonna see if I can land some fish. I know the fish are definitely feeding right now. The weather is changing. If you've seen my last video, it'll be like this video, then if you've seen that video, go check it out. Link is in the description. During that day, that's when the weather changed. Like literally, I kid you not, it was like 100 degrees that entire week. It's 92 degrees. 92 degrees right now. It's been like that all week. Eco System, the environment, everything like it's constantly changing. And today I have one bait that I hope to catch a lot of fish off of because I know the fish are schooling up, they're feeding on shad, they're trying to get big for the winter. I'll have favor because I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Yes, so with enough blabbering, that's enough talking, guys. Let's get to fishing because time is of the essence. Here we go. All right, guys, I think I think this mic works. I'm not really sure. I have you guys on the GoPro anyway. There's a little bit of wind, beautiful day, but it's a jerk bait. It's nothing special. It's a $25 freaking jerk bait. Mega Bass makes it, and let's see if these baits are actually worth $25. Let's see if Bass will bite this bait. Here we go. the first one first victim on the mega bass 110 look how big that is you just completely annihilated that hopefully they get a lot bigger than that there's the first little fishy on the mega bass mm. bye fishy <laughs> finger bro that shit went through Fuck. Ah. ah son of a biscuit get out get out ah. ah these hooks are no joke <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh, I almost got one. Look, I got a minnow. Ah! No, I don't want you on here. Every time I start talking, they start eating. So this is what they're eating. So I'm honestly just trying to, I'm kind of matching the hatch, I guess. I don't have that dot like this does, but it's pretty close. It's just a lot bigger profile. That's all it is, essentially. The same thing, except this one's live and this one's artificial. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that thing just like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. Oh, oh, there's another one. This one's staying with me. 
Oh my god. That was a pig in. I'll take this though. Oh, get out of there. Oh yeah. Look at, I missed guys, I kid you not, that was like, I kid you not, I missed like a five pound fish. At least, no doubt in my mind. But, and then threw, threw right back in there, exactly right back in there. Bam, I still got slammed. Oh man, oh man, this is a good day. Even though these hooks suck duty. Another one. Oh man. If you want to live, say good. Alright guys, uh, I don't know if I'm in focus or not, but uh, I made it to the end of this little uh, body of water. That is all she wrote, folks. Whatever I caught, I caught. My setup, my setup's nothing special. I'm not like a big spender on fishing things. I mean, kind of, you know, but not like, you know, $100 here, $100 there. I need this rod, I need that reel. I literally bought this reel on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. The little grips came off right here. It's a, it's a very, like, I'm gonna be honest, it's a terrible reel. If you put braid in it or anything heavier, than I have 12 pound test right now and it just works it works amazing with it like I finally figured out what this reel should be used for my rod it's medium heavy though and my line is just 12 pound vicious line that's all it is so that's my setup right there and it worked pretty darn good today I'm um, pretty impressed with the with the action and how the way and the way like you know they should mega bass shaped this bait the only thing that I didn't like was their hooks it's a great design and a great you know concept but they bend like Maybe your guys' hooks don't bend because you're catching little fish or I don't know what, if you're not ripping it through grass. But I was ripping it through grass and bringing fish back through it and these back hooks bent and these middle ones bent, so or this back one bent. Uh, maybe that's why I missed some fish and maybe that's why I caught some. I don't know, I couldn't really tell you. I'm not an expert on this. I'm literally just picked this up and just started throwing it because I know it's that time of year where you guys start finesse fishing a little bit, so. With that being said guys, today's video is over. I hope you enjoy this music and video and whatever you want to call it. If you guys like jerk baits or not, just comment if you guys like them. Hit the, hit the subscribe button and if you guys want, you guys could like the video too. I'd really appreciate it. These next couple weeks, I'm going to try to pump out a video once a week. So these next few weeks, the temperature is going to drop. Everything's going to get colder. Everything's going to change. The fish are going to... Uh, adapt or die that's pretty much what it is so that's what a fisherman has as a fisherman you have to adapt or die that's my message to you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful week stay tuned for the next video folks and fish on